We all know what it feels like to create a video, upload it, and then it's just crickets. Nobody's viewing it. Well, in this video, we're going to give you my top three most influential factors that go into ranking videos to the top of Google and YouTube. So stay tuned. Hey, Brandon from soldwithvideo.com here, and today we're gonna to talk about ranking videos. Now, over the years, a lot has really changed when it comes to ranking videos, but the basics of video optimization and video SEO haven't really changed that much. Now, if you take this video of mine, for example, it's been ranked at the top of Google and the top of YouTube for the term, how to rank videos, for years already. And inside that video, we talk about a lot of the basics, like the proper titles, the proper description, how to find your keywords, and all the basic things you need when it comes to optimizing your videos. But something kind of funny happened with this video that allows it to be ranked for years with not a lot of work being done. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the three most influential factors that happened to this video and all my other videos that are ranking really well and getting tons of views. So let's start with method number one, which is using your keyword in your title. Now, using your keyword in your title has been around for a really long time. Everyone kind of knows this, but it's something that's extremely important. You're gonna have a very difficult time ranking videos if your keyword is not in the title. YouTube actually tells us that they give the most weight to all of the on-page SEO to the title and what keywords are in the title. Now, if we look at my video, how to rank videos, that is the exact keyword that I wanted to rank for, video SEO and how to rank videos. It's in the title and now we are ranking for it. Now, if I was to change that title to something else, like how to get more views, I would not rank for how to rank videos or video SEO. But since I included them in the title, I'm now positioning my video and giving it the opportunity to then rank for those keywords. Now let's pull up another example, which is this one over here. I have keywords like lav mic, wireless mic, how to make DIY lapel mic. And if you search any of those keywords in YouTube, you notice this video actually comes up the top for a wide range of different keywords because I have all those keywords in the title. So when you're creating a video, figure out what keyword you wanna go for, create a video around that topic, include those keywords in your title. So let's move on to method number two, which is building a channel of authority. Now this is something I've been talking about for years and I cannot stress to you enough how important it is to have a channel of authority when you're trying to rank videos. So let me give you a little example here of how this works with websites. If Wikipedia created an article all about this new electric car and then you start a website and two days later you write an article about the exact same electric car in your website, your website and your article is not going to rank but Wikipedia's is probably gonna rank to the top of Google right off the bat. Why? Because Google and YouTube are search engines and they want the absolute best content coming up at the top of their search results. And they know sites like Wikipedia and CNN and these big authority sites write really good content and they want your valuable content going to the top of the search results. You have to understand that Google and YouTube just want the best videos and best user experience on their website. That's why they give channels of authority higher ratings and higher rankings and usually faster rankings right off the bat because they know channels of authority typically produce really good content. So the main question here is how do we create a channel of authority? So the three main factors of channel authority are the amount of subscribers, the age of your channel, and are you active and have you built a community around your channel and your videos. Now when we talk about subscribers, it's basically just social proof. When you have 20,000 or 100,000 subscribers on your channel, social proof that you have a pretty good channel. But not only that, what happens is when you upload a video, a lot of your subscribers or a decent amount of your subscribers are gonna get notified that your video's up. That's gonna be instant views, instant likes, instant comments around your video, which formulates a community around your video, which YouTube absolutely loves. So not only do you have the social proof behind your channel that your channel is popular, but you're also gonna get activity on your video right when you upload it, which then shoots it up the search results. Now, when we look at the age of the channel, it doesn't necessarily mean since your channel's two years old, you're gonna outrank someone who has a channel that's two weeks old. But when you have age behind your channel, it typically means that you're gonna have some subscribers, probably you're gonna be active on YouTube, maybe you've been co commenting on other people's videos. All of that stuff goes into the age of the channel. And you also have to understand that YouTube is constantly fighting spam. Now, do you think if a spammer was gonna go onto YouTube that they would do it with a brand new channel that they just created or a channel that's two years old? Now, nobody for sure knows exactly what YouTube's algorithm is, so we have to ask ourselves, does that make sense? And it makes perfect sense that they would put little blocks or algorithm things that make it difficult for brand new channels to get really fast rankings. 
And the third part of channel authority is staying active. This means uploading videos consistently, building more subscribers, commenting on your videos, commenting on other people's videos. You have to understand YouTube is a social platform and that is exactly what they want you to treat it as. So if you can build a community around your videos, you can start building up more channel authority. Now, one of the easiest ways to do this is obviously continue uploading content, add value, and then respond to comments on those videos. And what I like to do is go into my community manager, look at all my comments and respond right off the bat. And a little bonus tip here is that I actually like to respond to comments by asking them a question. So if I get 10 comments on a video, I respond to all of them, bam, now I have 20 comments. But then if I ask those people a question, they respond back, now I have 30 comments. And then I respond back to their other comment, bam, now I have 40 comments. So what I've been able to do is go from 10 comments to 40 simply by responding to my comments asking questions and being involved. And now what I'm doing is building a community around my videos. Now, all of this actually boils down to the third and final ranking factor, which is creating videos specifically for the search term you're trying to rank for. And one of the reasons why my videos and even my clients' videos stay ranked for years is because we do exactly this. We look at the term that we wanna rank for, we ask ourselves, why is somebody searching that term? And then we create a video giving them exactly what they want. So if you look at this term, how to rank videos, I asked myself, why is someone searching that? And I thought, well, because they wanna learn how to rank videos. So I created a video of value, giving them the exact steps they need to rank videos in Google and YouTube. And here's what started to happen. Since I already had a channel of authority, when I first uploaded this video, it went right to the page one or two on YouTube. But what started to happen is when people search how to rank videos, they would look through all the results, they would click on mine, they would watch it all the way through, and then Google and YouTube started looking at this going, you know what, people are searching how to rank videos, landing on this video, they're watching this video longer than all the other videos, it's a really good result, let's move it up the search results. So what started to happen is we slowly moved up YouTube search results, and then we hit the top of YouTube search results, and then that continued to happen. It continued to get searched, how to rank videos, they watched my video, people liked it, they commented on it, they watched it the whole way, they clicked on my annotations, and then all of a sudden, magically, it pops up in Google, and then slowly climbs up Google, and then the same thing continues to happen for years. When I have years of people searching how to rank videos, landing on my video, watching it all the way through, clicking on my annotations, leaving me a comment, hitting the thumbs up button, we're proving to Google and YouTube that this is the best video for this search term. And when you can create and script your videos around one topic and give people exactly what they want, you will then begin to rank higher in the Google and YouTube search results. But then we started to notice one more thing started to happen with a lot of our videos. Not only were they getting ranked in the top of Google and YouTube, but they were now appearing in the related videos field of other videos and even competitors' videos. And now a huge portion of all the views on my channel come from the related videos field. And you have to remember, like we said in the beginning of this video, Google and YouTube just want the best videos on their search results. They want people watching the best videos on certain topics. So when you prove that you have the best video, they start positioning your video to get more views. So when we look at this video right here, it started to climb up the search results because it's a really good, engaging, and entertaining video, which proved to Google and YouTube, this is a really good video. And they actually started not only giving it higher rankings, but they started positioning it next to other really popular videos talking about microphones. And at the time of making this video, it has over 200,000 views with about 40 to 50% of those views coming from the related videos field. So what this really boils down to is spammy techniques of ranking videos are slowly becoming less effective and they're starting to look at more value and engaging factors with your videos. They're looking at how are people finding your videos? What are they searching? What videos are they landing on? How long are they watching those videos? Are they engaging? And if you can do that and you can create the perfect video for the search room that's being searched, you're gonna start gaining more subscribers, you're gonna build more channel authority, you're gonna get more views, you're gonna get higher rankings, you're gonna get seen in the related videos field, and it all comes down to creating the best video you possibly can for the topic that you wanna talk about. And over the years, we've perfected the perfect formula to creating videos that get higher rankings, get the best engagement, figure out what topics to go for, how to keep people on your videos longer so that you can grow your business, grow your channel, get more leads, more subscribers, and ultimately more sales in your business. Now, if you want more information on this, we've packed that perfect formula in an automated webinar that's playing two times a day that you can watch right now by clicking right here. So go on, watch our free automated webinar teaching you how to create the perfect YouTube video so you get higher rankings, more views, more leads, and more sales. My name is Brandon from soldthevideo.com and I'm signing out.
Uh-oh, my video's over and you wanted to watch more, right? Well, I got something for you. If you want, you can subscribe to my channel and get notified when all of our other videos come out because we have a lot more planned. Or if you want to learn the basics of how to rank videos, you can watch this video right here. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a comment letting me know how you found this valuable, how you're going to use it. And don't forget again to subscribe to our channel so you can get more videos just like this. Now, if you want that automated webinar, link is below. Go ahead, click it. And again, thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you on the next one.